Hello friends, Brennan here from BeWillCreative.com and I'm willing to bet that you've taken a photo just like this one where the background is super bright and your subject is super dark. So how can you actually darken the background of your photo to balance everything out and fix the exposure. Well, in Lightroom, there are a variety of ways to do just that, and I wanna show you the three best methods. Now, if you have a really bright background like I have here, then your background exposure values are going to sit in the highlights in whites. So that means you can just use the basic exposure sliders here within the develop module to make those adjustments. So for example, I can bring down the highlights and then bring down the whites. And that's gonna darken up all that bright area for me. And then to fix up my subject, I can just increase the blacks and then increase the shadows. Refine that a little bit to add some contrast. And now our adjustment is complete. Now, although simple, there are a few problems with this method. The first thing being that it affects all of the highlights and whites in your photo. So if you wanna have a little bit more bright exposures on your subject or in other parts of your photo, using this method will affect everything at once. There's nothing selective about it. So you might end up targeting things that you don't actually want to edit. The second thing is that your background may not look as bright as mine is right here. It may have some values that are actually in the shadows or the blacks. So then this method will not work for you. Instead, you'll have to use one of the two following methods. So that brings me into method number two two, which is with the radial filter. So let's go and first reset our photo. Clicking reset, we're now back to square one. Clicking on our radial filter, let's go and create a new selection, a new filter around our subject. So basically we want to encompass our subject so that everything outside of our filter becomes darkened. Now, as you can see here, the outside of my filter is being darkened at the moment. And that's because I have the invert option unchecked. If you have this checked off, you'll then be affecting the inside of your filter. So in this case, make sure the invert option is unchecked. Now it's kind of hard to see exactly what is being affected, especially if you don't have any exposure adjustments like this. So what you can do instead is press O on your keyboard. Everything that is now red is your mask that will be adjusted when you darken the background. Now, obviously what we want to do here is make sure that our subject is not really selected, but all of our background is. But what the red is telling us is that a lot of our subject is currently selected. So how can we fix this? Well, with this selected, we can go up to our mask and then go to brush. Now that's gonna let us use a brush tool, but more specifically, we need to use the erase brush. Clicking on erase, we'll then make sure auto mask is checked off like so. If you're unfamiliar with auto mask and how that works, I highly suggest checking out my other tutorial all about that, which I'll leave in the corner right now. Anyways, with this eraser brush selected, we're gonna go and paint over our subject. And with auto mask enabled, it's gonna stick to to the edges and not spill over at all. In short, that basically means that we can darken our background without editing our subject at all, which is perfect for what we want to do here. So I'll continue to paint around until all of the red is gone from our subject. Now, if you accidentally make a mistake, just click on the A brush like so, and then you can go and paint over any areas to add back a selection if need be. So now that everything is looking good here, let's go and press O on our keyboard to hide that red highlight, and let's start to make our adjustments and darken this background. The easiest way to do that is with the exposure slider. So dragging down the exposure slider here, notice how we're now dark darkening the edges of our photo. But then since we had such a close and tight radial filter, we're basically darkening around our entire subject as well. Now, right out of the gate here, this doesn't look super great because now our background is just dark, our subject is dark, and we just have a dark photo now. So we can fix this now by going back to our general global adjustments. We've already made our radial gradient. Now going to our basic panel, we can go and lift up the shadows and the blacks as needed. And we can just begin to adjust these sliders with a little bit more customization than we had before because our background has already been darkened with our radial filter, making our global adjustments look a lot better as you add them into your photo. Now, the radial filter is a really great option to use if you want everything around your subject to become darkened. But what if you only have part of your background that you want to darken? For example, what if I want to only darken the sky, but I don't want to darken down here in the snow, anything like that. I only want to affect basically the upper half of my image. Well, in that case, we can go and use the gradient filter. So let's reset this image once again, and then we'll go through this third option for darkening the background of your photo. So now clicking on our gradient filter, this time we're going to go and click and drag down over the areas that you want to 
darken. Since I only want to darken the upper half of my photo, this looks pretty good to me right there. I'll reset my exposure back to zero so nothing is getting darkened at the moment. Now, just like before, if I press O on my keyboard, I can view my mask, but this time it's in a gradient. So it's gonna be a straight line here. The further away these two lines are, the softer your gradient will be. As you can see here, my gradient becomes quite hard and then it becomes more soft as I drag down. Just like what we did with the radial filter, we can go and click on the brush option, click the erase option, make sure auto mask is checked off, and then just go and paint over our subject to ensure that nothing around them is being adjusted. So once again, making sure that all the red highlight is taken off of the places that you don't want to affect anymore. So that looks pretty good to me right there. I'll call that a win and I'll press O on my keyboard to hide that mask. Now let's go and add our darkening adjustments. Clicking on our exposure slider, we'll click and drag down to darken that background up for us. We can even darken the highlights, darken the whites as well. You can use all of these sliders at your disposal to make your darkening adjustments look absolutely perfect, but usually the exposure slider does just the trick. Now that we've only darkened the upper part of our photo, we can click done. And then just like before, we can go through our global adjustments here, lightening up our subject like so, adding back a little bit to the highlights. And since we've already darkened that background, these adjustments don't look so dramatic to our background and it doesn't mess up our exposure in any way. So looking at that before and after, look at that absolutely massive difference that that has made. Now, as an extra little bonus, there's actually a fourth way that you can darken the background, this time a little bit more selectively. So let's once again, reset this photo by clicking reset. And this time we're gonna use the adjustment brush. Clicking on the adjustment brush here, we're gonna make sure auto mask is checked off. So then this way we can select our background without selecting our subject from the get go. We don't have to do any refining after the fact. So auto mask checked off, feather to 100, flow to 100, density to 100, everything you see here. And now we're gonna go and paint over the background of your photo that you want to darken. So let's say I don't wanna darken the upper part of my sky. I only wanna darken, say this area right here and maybe around the snow. This is just my new and improved example. So let me just go and paint over this. If you don't have any adjustments made like so, you can press O once again to view your mask. So I'm gonna paint over basically everything that I want to darken. In this case, like I just said, I wanna darken the snow and a little bit of the sort of mountains and city back there. So now that looks pretty good right there. We've made a good selection around this lower part of our photo without affecting our sky at all. I'll press O on my keyboard. Now, once again, you guessed it, we're gonna go to the exposure slider, drag that down. And then now we've darkened just this lower part of our photo because that's what we selected with the adjustment brush. Now, as you can see, the adjustment brush can be used in a ton of different ways because you could darken just a single part of your background or you can adjust the entire thing rather than having to go and create one of the filter options and then refine your mask manually. You can make sure everything is right from the start with your adjustment brush. Now from here, you can click done, and then we can go and bring up our shadows, bring up our blacks, increase the contrast, and do all that good stuff that you would already do in your regular photo editing. And But this time we now have our darkened sort of mid-ground, whatever you wanna call that. So those are four super handy ways to darken the background of an image here in Lightroom. And no matter what type of image or darkening adjustments you're trying to do, these techniques will get the job done for you, I guarantee it. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with more editing tips just like today. Again, my name's Brennan from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then. Oh.